chest. That's good. You know, it's, uh, it's been a long time since I played here. A few years before the lockout there, but uh, you know, anytime you can come play for an organization that uh, is headed in the right direction, I think that uh, we'll see what uh, Mike Santos and Dave Talon have done with the team. Uh, there's only one guy that I played with when I when I did play here, but uh, you know, we got a lot of good young guys and uh, some good veterans, and uh, you know, hopefully we can be the underdogs and have success this year. Who's that, Weiss? Weiss, you play? Yeah, yeah, yeah Weiss, I think he's the only guy that I played with. But, uh, <laughs> A few Vancouver boys that I trained with over the summer here, so that's uh, your face. And you're on the line with uh, Bernier. I mean, yeah, you've like, been on the line with him before? This, yeah, no, no, actually, you know what? It was, uh, it was, he was in the third line and played the second line. But, uh, I don't think I played with that much talent for a while. Uh -huh. Did Trey take you by surprise or did you feel something was happening? No, I thought if they went in that one direction, you know, with uh, maybe having some of the uh, with big guys that maybe they'd keep me, but. Uh, you know, I think that they're, they're, they're more interested in trying to make that push for playoffs and uh, having success in the playoffs than uh, you know, worrying about what's going to happen if the uh, guys are running around. So, you know, uh, it's one of those things where uh, it's, it's the name of the game. You know, I, uh, I traded a few times, so uh, anything's possible in this game. Wes well, McIntyre was saying that you guys go way back, and he says you, that you say that these are because of him. Is, it, is that true? <laughs> Well, it was funny because Brad Rickard said uh, if I wanted to make the Saskatoon Blades back then, I had to fight uh, two guys. And one was Dallas Anderson, six foot eight, and Steve McIntyre. And uh, me and McIntyre fought three times in, uh, in our first game. And uh, the coaches both uh, started yelling, "There's no more fighting." And he definitely chipped these teeth right here. I think he was the same size now as he was back then. But uh, you know, it's good to see him get another shot. And uh, he's a good old Saskatchewan boy. Yeah, he's walking around here with deer jerky and everything. He fits right in with his 4x4 oh, yeah. four four parked out back. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure you'll see him, uh, all those hunters out there, uh, probably the night before the game, hunting up, uh, <laughs> up in uh, Alberta or somewhere. You never tussled in the in, in, in NHL with him, then? No, you know what? He was kind of had that few stints where he was he was up, and then uh, I think he got hurt by Goddard there, and then uh, we just really never played him when he was playing. But uh, yeah, he's a big big boy, and he got stronger and stronger. It was funny because I seen him a few years back in Jacksonville. My buddy was playing there. I didn't see him for a while after that, and I got a phone call from my buddy that was up in Providence, and uh, he said, "Man, I got this kid. He's knocking everybody out. This McIntyre." McIntyre, like Steve, and uh, next thing you know, he's, he's in the in the big leagues fighting all the boys. And, uh, he did a, did a number on Yvonne the other night, so uh, you know, yeah, you, you watch videos with a lot of these guys, but uh, you know, he's got a lot of power behind that punch, so he is not to get hit. Going back to the to the trade, I'm sure being traded from Vancouver wasn't, but but coming to Florida was that a bit of a, or did do you guys even think about? Well, where could I go? Kind of yeah, you know what? We really didn't think about it. I mean, it's, it's it's tough now. There's a lot of good players that don't have jobs right now, and it's, it's it has a lot to do with the cap, and and a lot of teams can't afford to, you know, with one-way contracts to, to get rid of a guy maybe in my role. So, um, you know, this is a great opportunity to, to um, maybe get a little ice time out there and show what I can do. And, uh, you know, anytime you play on a team like Vancouver, if, if you get a couple more minutes, it's usually coming from the Twins or Mason Raymond's line. So. It's, it's tough to get uh, those extra minutes, so I'm just looking forward to working hard, protecting my teammates, and uh, do what I've always done. Have the, have the immigration thing been taken care of yet, or is that next week? Yeah, no, I think that, that that's all taken care of, and, uh, or if it's not, it's been taken care of. So, uh, you know, I've been in the States for most of my career, so I don't think there should be any issues about that. How tough is it to jump right in a new system, and one practice, and then play the next night? Uh, it's uh, you know it's that's part of the game so you know at least I didn't have a five hour flight like uh, some of the other guys but uh, yeah no it'll be good and uh, you know the first few games will be a little bit feeling out but uh, uh, I got a simple role it's it's get the puck deep and run guys. It does work.